Hello everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. Today I want to talk about a list of excuses that you can use for when you're researching something or if you're caught red-handed. So this is just a bunch of excuses for you to say when someone asks you why you're buying a particular thing or why your search history has something in it or why you're doing a particular thing at a certain time. So basically just keep a list of these excuses at the back of your mind and you can use them whenever appropriate to get you out of a sticky situation. So the first excuse I have is that I'm writing a book. So this is literally a go-to excuse for any sort of research you might be doing on witchcraft or the occult. This is a great excuse for borrowing witchy books from the library, researching spells and incantations or mythological creatures, different deities. There isn't really anything that you could be reading about that couldn't be excused by the fact that you're doing research for a book that you're writing. Of course the real way to sell this excuse is to actually be writing a novel or something that contains occult themes. I'd really love to read your works, you can publish your books for free on wattpad.com and that's a really good way of selling this sort of excuse. The second great excuse I have for you is I'm a fan of Dungeons and Dragons or Harry Potter or Percy Jackson and anything like that. This is a good excuse for things like getting magical tools, drawing sigils, casting spells, working with tarot cards and researching different pantheons. So Dungeons and Dragons or D&D can cover basically anything as long as you say it's for my character or it's for my campaign. So if you play something like a druid or a cleric, you can ask your dungeon master to let you incorporate different divination methods into your role playing. So then that would be a good excuse to have things like runes or tarot cards around. There is even a D&D tarot deck, otherwise known as the Curse of Strahd Taroka deck, which you can actually use to divine. It has a lot of similarities to a traditional tarot deck. Being a fan of Harry Potter can cover things like uh, getting wands, cauldrons, divinating. A lot of Harry Potter merch can double up as witchy tools, so things like Harry Potter wands and uh, you can buy cauldrons as, that are Harry Potter merchandise too. So that is a, a uh, good excuse if you like Harry Potter. Percy Jackson fans have a great excuse to research Greek and Roman pantheons. I kind of know a few friends who um, got into witchcraft and then also were Percy Jackson fans. They already knew quite a lot about Greek deities that they worshipped as part of their craft. There are other fandoms like uh, Mortal Instruments, which is a good excuse for drawing and making sigils. The only drawback of this excuse is that super conservative Christians sometimes forbid an interest in D&D and Harry Potter and things like that. So if you live in a family that's like that, keep watching this video for some other excuses that you can use instead. The next excuse is that it's for a school project. So obviously this excuse is aimed at younger witches who are still in school. This covers a lot of great things if you just say it's for my religious studies class or it's for my art class. You can just say that you're writing an essay or a dissertation on witchcraft or different religions like Wicca. Using this excuse also works for anything artsy or crafty like um, say you're making a book of shadows and you're, you're making it really pretty you can say that it's for an art project at school this also covers things like clay sculpting or drawing sigils um, so you can actually incorporate secret sigils into your art projects at school or, or any art project if you're no longer in school 
Another good excuse is to say that you're practicing mindfulness. Some schools, colleges and workplaces offer courses in mindfulness. Mindfulness is used as a way of handling stress, especially around exam season. When you get down to it, mindfulness basically is just meditation, centering and grounding. Mindfulness is actually recommended by the National Health Service and also the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. It's recommended for improving your mental well-being and overall health. It has good scientific backing to it. It's not just magical voodoo stuff. It does actually have scientific backing, so this is a valid excuse for practicing mindfulness or at least meditating mindfully and saying that that is your mindfulness exercise that you're doing. Another great excuse is saying that you're learning to cook. Kitchen witchery is actually a brilliant practice for broom closet witches. So basically what kitchen witchery is, is just using magic and ingredients to make spells in the form of cuisine and cooking. Instead of having an aphame or aphame, instead you should dedicate a kitchen knife to magical purposes and then you could use a cooking pot instead of a cauldron or a wooden spoon instead of a wand. You can turn your whole kitchen into a disguised altar this way. So those are simple things that you can incorporate into your craft through kitchen witchery. Also related to this are teas. Brewing tea is a great way to incorporate magic into your everyday. So if you go to your local supermarket or farmer's market, you can often buy a lot of teas that have herbs in them that are commonly used in witchcraft. So basically what you would do is brew this tea with magical intention um, using particular herbs and then you can stir clockwise to manifest or invoke something or stir anti-clockwise to banish something. Links to resources on kitchen witchery and finding out more will be in the description for you so if you do ever want to find out more on anything that I talk about in this video please visit the description because I have given you lots of links to more information. Another good excuse is just saying that you want to exercise more. Often the simplest way to practice witchcraft is to just take a hike outside. So you could just simply say you want to go for a run, you want to take up hiking, you just want to grab a breath of fresh air. You could always make a dedication to yourself to go on a walk every day and then on this walk just concentrate on your surroundings and try to spot manifestations of the Lord and Lady in, in nature anywhere you go. Taking a walk every day is a great way to observe the changing of the seasons and the wheel of the year. It's also a great way to leave yourself open to signs and messages from the universe. And on this walk that you do every day you could also set up a nature altar and periodically worship at it. If you don't have a nice nature reserve or woodland to walk through, I recommend just walking through a local dog park or even a cemetery it can be quite a peaceful place and really close to nature. If you don't have any natural places to walk in, then even just a mindful walk through a town or city can be quite a grounding and rewarding experience. Another great excuse is I'm studying psychology. This can definitely help with research and practices without looking like a loony in front of your family. So things you could research are psychologists like Carl Jung. He was very much influenced by and actually contributed to occult practices and the occult community especially workings in shadow magic so that is definitely something to look into. You could also look into psychological phenomenons like the placebo effect, emergence, um, confirmation bias and a lot of things that were researched by Sigmund Freud. So a lot of his work can actually be con compared to concepts like the Kundalini 
and teachings from the Kabbalah. Um, a lot of witches will incorporate those teachings into their craft. So Sigmund Freud is actually quite a good psychologist to look into if you want to learn about more of those concepts. Michael Craig's Modern Magic, his book actually talks about Freud and his teachings quite a lot. So Freud and his research and his teachings do actually have quite a lot of interlacing with witchcraft and the occult. If you are really interested about practicing witchcraft and the occult from a psychological and scientific perspective, I definitely recommend finding out more from r slash sasswitches on Reddit, that stands for Skeptic Agnostic Science Seeking Witches. The next excuse I have is that I want to look after the planet or I am an environmentalist. Definitely use this excuse when you're reusing food jars, growing herbs, looking after house plants. This is also a good excuse when you're donating to food banks or doing beach cleanups, planting trees, or even volunteering at animal shelters as a service to the god and goddess or the lord and lady or whoever you choose to work with. Basically the idea of this is that being a pagan or a witch, it doesn't just mean praying to your deities or just casting spells. It is also a lifestyle, so anything that you do should be done mindfully and as a service to the deities that you work with. You know, the, the Lord and Lady are man's manifestations of the earth and nature, so as a witch, you're kind of obligated to look after your planet and our home. Using the excuse that you are an environmentalist and you like to look after the planet can give you a lot of excuse to do things as a service to the deities that you work with. Another lovely excuse is to say that art or poetry, music, crafting, gardening, things like that, say that that's your hobby. If you take up painting as a hobby, you can hide sigils and um, depictions of the god and goddess in your artwork. Another great one is to take up jewellery making. You can work with real crystals, miniature glass bottles, and you can make necklaces that have specific purposes and imbue them with magical intent. If you're more of a poet, you can definitely write poems and use them as spells. If you play an instrument, it's a really good idea to write some music that's inspired by your craft or write some music dedicated to the deities that you work with. Also think about learning to knit or sew so that you can make bracelets or poppets, sachets and tarot sleeves and charm bags. These can all be used in your craft and as a bonus you can incorporate bits of knot magic and colour correspondences, you can weave in witchy symbols and um, you can charge your items with intent as you craft them so then they can be used for magical purposes. If you are more of a green witch then definitely think about taking up gardening or horticulture. The last excuse I have for you today is to say that you have a passion for science. So this includes things like astrophysics, cosmology, geology, botany, geometry. So saying that you have a passion for science and all the other subsections of science that I mentioned, um, they provide really good excuses for getting into astrology, tracking moon phases, collecting crystals, growing herbs, and any pretty much anything like that. Working out your natal chart as part of astrology actually uses a, a fair amount of maths if you decide to do it manually. Looking up different correspondence of different planets and moons, you can easily play it off as you're really into astronomy, you're, you really like space, things like that. For that sort of excuse, I really recommend downloading the free open source program Sl Stellarium, which is great for tracking the movements of planets and stars. If you love crystals, then you can say that you really like geology. So to really sell an excuse like this, I really recommend looking up the actual minerals and compounds that make up different crystals. 
if you're more of a green witch then I recommend saying that you want to get into botany so this is the study of plants as part of this uh, you should learn um, to identify local and indigenous plant species in your area and you can also learn their correspondences and maybe medicinal properties as part of this and then you can incorporate into that into your craft so this is a really good excuse for being a green witch that's pretty much all i have for you today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any more excuses or ideas i'd love to hear them so please comment them below if you really liked this video please share it with others so that i can help out as many broom closet witches as possible if you want to know more about anything that i mentioned in this video please visit the description there will be more links to things there if you enjoyed this video please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I upload now on a weekly basis so subscribe to never miss a new video from me. So anyway guys I hope you have a great day, stay safe and blessed be.